I'm going to use a similar setup as the Ferrari. So basically I'm using one Buoy's motor for driving, one powered up L motor for steering, one micro motor for the gearbox control, and of course everything is controlled by Buoy's 3.0. And the components are placed in a similar way as with the Ferrari. You can see that the drive motor is on the left side of the pot, and here is also the motor for the gearbox control, the micro motor. And on the right side we have the Buvis 3.0 and under the seat we have the L motor which is controlling the steering via CV joints. So it's similar as the Ferrari, so let's build it. The Red Bull is halfway done and it's time for a quick demonstration and test of the functions. First the steering which is actuated by a part up L motor under the seat, it steers the front wheels and the steering wheel. Then the drive motor which is a Buvis motor is driving the gearbox via the V6 engine. And of course, there is a gearbox which is actuated by a micro motor. So, currently the model is in the high gear, and now I'm gonna switch it to low gear. And it works. Quick fact about the rear suspension and drive the inner joint is a strong reinforced CV type, but for the outer one, I'm using the regular CV because uh, when it's held inside the hub, it's much harder to fail. So, another thing I had to do was also I had to move this suspension link just a bit sideways so it doesn't rub against the drive axle and to do that I'm using a three-quarter pin here with uh, basically the ball joint on a rod. Ferrari used the inner output of the Buoy's motor to drive the V6 and the gearbox directly but in this model V6 and the gearbox and the rear suspension are all placed a start lower so I had to improvise. In this case I'm using the outer output of the Buoy's motor which is geared down 1.35 times to drive a 20 tooth gear which drives a 16 tooth gear and that is geared up 1.25 times which means this model is 8% slower but it also has 8% more torque.